I'm Steve with Locking Security Mailbox, and this is our steel wall-mounted locking payment drop box mailbox combination. Uh, so in other words, what that means is, is you can use this as a wall-mounted mailbox for U.S. Postal Mail, or you can use this as a payment drop box, uh, for example, if you are an uh, office, for example, that receives payments of some type, um, you can receive payments uh, as well. Uh, tell you, talk about the dimensions real quick. Uh, the mailbox is um, 13 inches wide, uh, so any type of a uh, manila envelope that's no longer than 13 inches wide will easily drop inside there without any type of a problem. The drop capacity is 7 inches deep, uh, so if you have anything bigger than that, it still will allow it, um, but it's just going to be a, a little bit more difficult. So. For example, magazines are easily going to drop inside this because they're flexible and they can drop in there. A small bank bag, for example, can easily drop inside there. A small um, or standard size business envelopes, if you're receiving rent, any of your U.S. postal mail uh, shouldn't have any type of problem going in there. You can even drop a box of checks in there. Uh, a small uh, soft uh, envelope with prescription drugs can drop in there without any problem. So again, 13 inches wide. It's seven inches deep, but then there's a one inch overhang. And so what that one inch overhang is, is let's say you're, you're mounting this to a wall and your eave doesn't cover over quite enough or you get a lot of rain, that one inch overhang helps protect it from rain from getting inside there. Uh, so it is designed to be in direct weather without any type of problem. Um, and then the height is 18 inches. And so this top portion here is the drop door. And then this bottom portion right here is the access door. Uh, and this allows you to pull the mill out. As it's shown here, it has a combination lock. And then there's also an option for a key lock if, um, if you don't want to use the combination. Combination lock is pretty cool. You set it with actually any of your numbers uh, that you want to use up to three or using three digits. So you can set your combination as one, two, three, for example. And to do that, all you do is put it in the unlock position. You get like a paper clip and you apply pressure in the little hole that is there. And as you're applying pressure onto that, you'll feel it give as you push it in. You set the combination you want. Make sure you keep pressure the whole time and um, then you release, pull the pressure off of it. You check it, make sure the combination you enter is in there and it's still turning and working, okay? Because if, um, if you released pressure halfway through setting the combination you wanted, um, it's, it's not gonna work properly when you put in that combination you want. So always check it before you do it. And then once you've confirmed that your, your code is in there that you want, um, you're ready to go and then you can easily change it anytime just repeat the same procedure uh, so it is quick and easy to do the keys uh, lock uh, obviously you just put the key in there and it's got a steel cam that keeps it secure uh, again so this is 13 inches wide it's seven inches deep with a one inch uh, overhang making a total eight um, and 18 inches high the uh, drop door uh, has anti-fishing fingers back in here and it's hard to see I'll, I'll show you in some additional footage but what that does is, is <clears throat> when you're when you're trying to uh, fish something out of here let's say you have like a coat hanger with something sticky on the end which is prominently what a, a lot of thieves try to do it'll get caught in those fingers and knocked back down and they won't be able to take your your payments or any of your mail uh, it makes it really difficult this is made out of heavy gauge steel and so you don't have to worry about, you know, a lot of mailboxes right now, if you see them, they're like, you know, $89 or $120 or something really inexpensive. It's because they're really thin metal. Um, they're like a soda pop can, so you can just crush it and tear it apart. We do use a heavy uh, 10 gauge steel. Uh, that's what this version is here. So 10 gauge steel, for example. So the lower the number, the thicker the steel. So if you see something that says, it's 20 gauge steel, for example. It's really thin steel. If you see something that's 18 gauge, that's really thin steel. Then as you start getting lower, 14 is, is a good standard size. That's pretty thick. And then you get to 12 gauge. It's a little bit thicker. 
um, when you get to 10 gauge, 10 gauge is twice as strong as 12 gauge, and 12 gauge is twice as strong as 14 gauge, so the lower the number, the thicker the steel. This one here, again, is 10 gauge steel, so it's really durable. Uh, the access door, um, just over, or just under 13 inches to uh, drop the uh, mail down inside there. Um, so it, it's, it's really universal in the way you can, it can be used. Um, some of the great features, again, the combination lock or the key lock. It's got the, uh, the heavy gauge steel. It's got a stainless steel hinge. Um, that hinge is here, and then there's another hinge down here. Um, if you're going to have this in uh, an environment such as in Florida on the coast, California on the coast, something like that, the, the steel is galvanized, so it's going to hold up well, but here's, here's a clue if you didn't know. Any steel will eventually rust. Even stainless steel will eventually rust. And so with the galvanized steel, with the powder-coated finish, what we recommend is uh, protect it. Put some car, uh, car wash wax on it. Wipe it all off just like you would how you'd wax your car. Do that once a year or every once in a while. And that's really going to make your, your paint uh, hold up uh, a lot longer. Now, on this particular model, uh, there are three mounting holes on the top and three mounting holes on the bottom. And so the reason we've done three, most boxes only have two on the top. The reason we have three is, is this center one is we'd like to see you hit a stud with that, uh, especially if you're securing it into sheetrock. So get a stud finder, uh, it, find the stud, and put that main set screw into that stud. It does come with mounting hardware. Uh, but if you're going to use it into masonry, then you're going to need to go down to the hardware store and get mason screws. There is a template with the instructions. So you set that template on the wall, mark it, make sure you hit that stud if you're going into uh, sheetrock or anything like that. And then you set your screws. The keyholes allow you to put it in place. And then you open it up and you, and you tighten those screws down. And now, of course, it is tough to tighten those down but uh, because you, it's hard to get your hand in there so we really recommend a long screwdriver at least a 14 or 16 inch screwdriver to finish tightening those off and again the reason we do that is makes it difficult because it makes it difficult to remove and even if they were to get these top screws for some reason the bottom screws they wouldn't have access to another installation tip is is right before you finally secure it to the wall is get some adhesive caulking and go ahead and put like six or eight dabs of adhesive caulking on there, stick it on the wall, slide it into those keyholes, tighten it up. And as you tighten it up there on that wall, that adhesive caulking is going to make it even more difficult. And you can even caulk around it as well to make it tough. Uh, again, this is our Castle Box Designs. Uh, that's the manufacturer. Steel large wall mounted payment drop box or uh, mailbox uh, works really well for any home or apartment uh, if you're receiving U.S. mail and you don't have a locking mailbox uh, this would be a great option if you're in an apartment complex and you're receiving payments this is probably one of the best wall mounted boxes you can get it does have holes in the bottom if you want to secure this to a post uh, you can easily do that get yourself a steel post and bolt it to there the, the holes are pre-drilled uh, so it has lots of different applications you can use it for. Combination locks uh, makes it so that you don't have to have a key when you go out to access. Or, of course, there's an option for a key. Uh, if you have any questions or maybe you're looking at this video and you're like, hey, I, I, I need something bigger, I need something smaller, um, I need something that goes through the wall, um, we can actually custom make a box for you. Uh, just give us a call or send us an email and we can talk you through that process. These are on hand. We typically ship in one to two business days. And if you have any questions about it, uh, give us a call or send us an email, lockingsecuritymailbox.com.